Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Uh, for those of you whom I have not yet met, my name is Paul Zarnke, and I'm the Executive Director of Peel Children's Aid. On behalf of the six agencies who are partnering here tonight, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining us. The word of the day is partnership, and the theme of tonight's event is working together for children, youth, and families, and we know that that is best achieved when we work in partnership. And ladies and gentlemen, you need look no further than this very event as an amazing example of partnership. Peel Children's Aid is celebrating 100 years of service. Very few of us get to live to 100 years old, so I'm sure you can appreciate the significance of this celebration. In fact, not many social service organizations have been around for 100 years, and we at AYSP pledge to work with you for the next 100 years and beyond to ensure the safety and well-being of children and youth and to strengthen families. 100 years of ensuring the well-being of children in a community is an outstanding achievement. Your commitment to keeping children safe from abuse while helping parents and child caregivers build healthy families is commendable. Every day children and families benefit from this invaluable service to our community and I can only hope that this service remains in Peel indefinitely. Why bother studying the history of Peel Children's Aid? Why bother especially with events of 100 years ago? Is this really the same organization? In some ways, those pioneers and those who inherited the organization from them were asked to do too much. They needed other organizations and indeed they worked with other organizations. They needed a bigger safety net, a bigger network, just as we do now. It has not been easy for a small agency like ours to pull something like this off, but I can tell you honestly that one of the reasons that we were able to be successful is because I always knew that we had PLCIS right beside us and Paul Zarnke right behind us. The first song we sang came uh, from Gear Harvey and the words were, come along my friends, come along, get aboard and ride this train. Nothing on this train to lose, everything to gain. From there, everything went right. Um, the people, the music, the opportunity to move on to the next round of auditions and then being selected for the show. We achieved these goals uh, thanks to the incredible commitment of the team members and the outstanding support of our families, co-workers and our management team. The partnership that I think brings us all together and historically has brought us all together are those little people we saw up here tonight and Jessica coming up and talking tonight. I mean, it's just, you're the reason we do what we do. That's the partnership that's so true for all of us and really gives us the fortitude every day to come back and just really want to do more and better for you because um, more and better for you is more and better for us. And collectively, we have to do that together because no one of us alone can do that work. Now I have one other piece I, could, like, I would like to do. I have the uh, honor of presenting the Mary Neville Award tonight to Paul Zarnke. The Mary Neville Award was established in 1988 and is given annually at th this evening to somebody who's made a huge contribution in the Peel community in terms of early intervention and prevention in terms of children's mental health issues. And pa Paul is an absolute deserving recipient of this award. He has done so many things in our community. He's been a champion of so many different issues, not uniquely children's aid or child protection or child welfare, but really very pervasively, and I would say universally, across our community. Uh, Paul's passion for kids and families goes way beyond just one particular group. It really encompasses and takes in the whole area. So Paul, on behalf of our community, uh, we are delighted to present you this award, and I hope it would be a nice culmination to a, a very, very well-deserved retirement. It has been a pleasure for me to work in Peel for the past 10 years and to have the opportunity to work with so many skilled and committed people in this community. 
It has been an honor as well to have the opportunity to provide leadership to Peel Children's Aid, a great organization that does such important work. Keeping kids safe and supporting families is way, way up on my list of meaningful work and work that makes a difference. It has been a privilege to work closely with my counterparts in other agencies and to build bridges and strengthen collaborations between our agencies. Those who know me know that I am not a huge fan of, of the great individual or charismatic leader school of leadership. I believe that most of what is accomplished that has real value and is enduring is as a result of committed people working together, sharing the load, and sharing the leadership. That is how I feel about the Mary Neville Award. While I am proud to receive it, I am also clear that all the things that we have accomplished have been the result of a team of people working together to achieve these wonderful things.